Hey there, welcome to your first day of Poly Academy. Get those notebooks and pencils ready because today we're going to cover all things survey creation, including how to set up recurring and pulse surveys. So let's pop over to the web app and I'll show you how it's done. Great, so here's the Poly web app. You can get here by going to app.poly.ai, and from here, you can author polls and surveys directly from the web. You can also view your results and do other things as well, so it's a pretty cool place to check out all of Poly's functionality. So if we click this Create button, a form's gonna pop up that allows you to create either a poll or a survey. Since this is a video about survey creation, we're gonna tab over to survey here. But just so you know, the only difference between a poll and a survey in Polylingo is a poll is one question and a survey is multiple questions. It's that easy. Great, so once you decide if you're gonna be setting up a poll or a survey, you would wanna select your audience. For our purposes today, I'm gonna to select a test channel that I've set up. Now, you can choose any channel that you want here or send via direct message. Don't worry, we'll talk about that later. The only thing to keep in mind is if it's a shared or a private channel, you'll just want to invite Polly. Cool, so for our cases, I'm gonna do an all hand survey. Basically the idea here is that this is a survey you would send out after an all hands meeting, just to get feedback on the content and see how the team is feeling. So let's give a little message to them. Review our latest all hand survey. That way they know what they're getting into. Great, once you've filled out that, you can choose how you wanna deliver this survey. So do you wanna send it out one time or do you want this to be a recurring survey? So if we choose recurring here, you can select what frequency you wanna send this on. So let's say you have a weekly all hands meeting on Tuesdays at 10 a.m. You would probably wanna send this out weekly after each of those all hands meeting. You can also select how long you would wanna allow voting for. So if you wanna keep the voting open for the entire week between the last all hands and the next all hands, you can keep it for seven days. Let's say you wanna review results a little earlier, three days. Whatever makes the most sense for you. Then you have a couple of options on how you wanna deliver the questions of your survey. So all at once essentially means that every question you add will get sent every week. Rotating, would allow us to choose one question to send out each week. So you would essentially bank a library of questions in the survey, and then we'll choose one to send out each week. That way you can get some variation in your answers, but your employees are not getting overwhelmed. Again, totally up to you. Now, quick thing to note here, this rotating option, you might also hear that referred to as polls. They mean essentially the same thing. So for our cases, I'm gonna select all at once because I want them to answer every question. And we will talk about scheduling and reminders in a later video, but feel free to play around with it. It's pretty straightforward. Cool, so let's add a couple of questions here. So the all hands was a good use of my time. And then I'll click save. So this is my first question of the survey. Let's add an additional one. Who should win employee of the month? Warren, George. Option, awesome. So now we have a couple of surveys here, or questions, and then you would just hit send. I will show you how this gets delivered. And if I pop up Slack, you can see that in my Lauren Test channel, the survey has, for, has been sent. Great, so that's how to set up a survey via the Poly web app. Let's quickly talk about what we're going to cover next time in Poly Academy. So now that you're an expert on survey creation, we will cover a couple of different things you can do to get the most out of your surveys, including setting up reminders, scheduling your polls and surveys in advance, and then some of those advanced publishing options you now have access to. Until next time, feel free to try out some surveys, and if you have any questions, definitely reach out, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, bye.